Hello, five fans, Mike of Fights with Friends. If you are looking for the odds to every fight tonight, where to watch them in the time that all 12 fighters are scheduled to make their way to the octagon, stay tuned. I'm Mike of Fights with Friends. Make sure and hit that like button if you like what I do here. I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified whenever I drop a new video or go live like every Tuesday for combat trivia at 5 p.m. Pacific. Just a real quick note, I am still fighting the UFC uh, on a false positive for a fight companion that I did. For those of you that watch me know I never show any of the fight or leak any of the audio. I am still fighting the streaming suspension that's been handed down to me on this channel for 90 days. So I will leave a link to my second channel that I will be streaming fight companions from uh, until that appeal is decided upon. Uh, if you would like to help me beyond that, please make sure and follow me on Twitter. Uh, help me grow my reach at Fights W Friends. And I'll make sure and say hi back, give you a follow if you request it. And I follow a lot of fighters. That we have a lot of fun over there. Let's get into this card. Uh, UFC Sacramento, there was some criticism to put it mildly as to the main card and the depth of this card. A lot of the viewers on here gave it a lot of criticism. Now, if you look at the bottom half of this card, actually the prelims, there's actually a lot of sleeper fights, a lot of fights with very close odds and several of them that I am very surprised that they didn't um, end up on the main card. Let's start out with the first of 12 bouts. To begin with, these are all on ESPN+, Plus, which you can subscribe to for just $5 a month. Highly recommend it. Um, walking down to the cage at 2.15 Pacific, uh, scheduled anyways, is Benito Lopez versus Vince Morales. This is in the Bantamweight division. Benito Lopez is a minus 106. Vince Morales is a minus 116. Uh, so it does not get much closer than that uh, when it comes to odds. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the number two bout. Lavina Souza versus Brianna Van Buren. Uh, almost exactly the same. Souza a minus 116. Uh, Van Buren a minus 118. Uh, if you don't know what those means... That means the odds are so close that you have to put down $106 on Sosa uh, to win 100 Minus is your underdog. Uh, that is in the women, women's straw weight division. Uh, third bout of the evening, scheduled to enter the octagon at 6.10 p.m. Uh, Bantamweight, you have Ping Yun Lai uh, versus Jonathan Martinez. Lai is a minus 162 favorite. Jonathan Martinez, the underdog, is a plus 130. Uh, I guess a very close odds in these first fights. And this is one that I was extremely surprised was not on the main card. Because this definitely could be fight of the night. And uh, probably a lot of people's most anticipated fight of the night. Uh, this is a featherweight. And this is going to be Darren Elkins versus Ryan Hall. Um, Ryan Hall just a slight underdog at minus 116. Uh, Darren Elkins minus 118. Uh, fifth bout of the evening. Uh, you got some women's 135 pound contenders. You have Juliana Pena versus N Nico Montano. Uh, Pena comes in a pretty large favorite in this one, a minus. Or excuse me, a pretty large underdog uh, at minus 200. Uh, so you can double your money on her. Nico Montano comes in a plus 160 favorite. That's going to lead us to a featherweight bout. These guys are scheduled to into the cage at 4.15 p.m. It is Andre Feely versus Shaman Morais. Uh, some more crazy close odds. Both men... 
uh, in the negative. Feely, a minus 118. Shaman Morris, a minus 106. So Feely, just a very slight favorite there at Featherweight. That's another one that I thought could have went on the main card. Uh, leading, or excuse me, wrapping out the prelims, you got some light heavyweights scheduled to enter the octagon at 440. Uh, you have Michael Rodriguez versus John Allen. These odds are not close. Uh, Rodriguez is a minus 455 underdog. So if you bet on John Allen, uh, you can triple your money with some 333 uh, plus 333. Next bout, and this will be the first bout of the main card. Starting at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern is the main card. Uh, this is also on ESPN+. Plus. We're going to start out with middleweights. You have Martin Vittori versus Cesar Ferreira. Uh, you have Vittori uh, coming in a slight underdog and minus 150, or excuse me, favorite, minus 151 uh, with Cesar Ferreira at a plus 125 favorite. Uh, sorry, I don't have these scrolling on the bottom of the screen. I'm doing this on a quick break at work on my phone. Uh, but let's jump right into the next bout. Uh, the ninth bout of the evening at middleweight. Uh, scheduled for 545. You got Carl Robertson versus Wellington uh, Terman. Uh, Robertson is a minus 225. Uh, Terman coming into this going to be a plus 190. Uh, so you can double up on Robertson. Um, at featherweight, the 10th bout of the evening, uh, maybe featured bout of the evening, I would say Mersad Bektek versus Josh Emmett. Uh, this could easily be the main event. Uh, two top featherweights. Uh, Mersad comes into this, a slight favorite, minus 150. Uh, if you like Josh Emmett, like I do for this one, uh, you can get back a buck twenty for every Benjamin you drop on him at plus one twenty. That leads us into the California kid, the hometown favorite, and the co-main event of the evening. Ricky Simon takes on returning forty-year-old Uriah Faber, and this should really come as no surprise. Ricky Simon comes in a large favorite in this one, minus three sixty Faber. Uh, plus 275. I did see the opening odds on those, and Ricky Simon had me in a bigger favorite, uh, even at 400. Uh, so those odds have, you know, moved a little closer, a little bit of money coming in for Faber. Let's go to the main event of the evening. Women's Bantamweight, right? Uh, scheduled to enter the cage action at 8 p.m. Uh, you have Aspen Ladd versus former champion Jermaine Durandamy. Uh, Jermaine's going to come into this a slight uh, underdog, a plus 110. If you think Aspen Ladd's going to win this, it's minus 134. So you'd have to put 134 of your hard-earned dollars down to win 100. Uh, or you could put 100 down on uh, Durandamy uh, to bring back 110. Uh, hopefully you guys like these detailed uh, betting predictions. A lot of these I do, actually, I'll do the predictions too. Uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time studying this card, so I didn't feel comfortable giving a lot of predictions. But I wanted to get you as much information as possible. Uh, like I said, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, but this on ESPN Plus tonight. Uh, also, make sure and join our Facebook group. We'll be posting uh, videos there as well as a Facebook Live Fight Companion uh, for the first time, uh, hosted by my co worker uh, and co host Billy Hughes, also known as the Time Bender. Uh, that will be over there. And we may make it online on YouTube. Uh, for the prelims, but the main event will be over there on Facebook Live. I'll link to that, leave the link to that down below in the description. But I want to know what do you guys think about this? Uh, do you like the detail of having the time that all the fighters come down, uh, where to watch it, the odds to each fight? Uh, do you bet on these fights? 
Uh, do you agree with me that the prelims has some stronger cards on it? Or stronger fights on it even than the main event, which was uh, highly criticized? And if you guys have bets out there, put them down there in the comments. Because we'll root for you guys unless we're, or myself, are betting on the other guy. And I didn't put any bets down on this one. So I didn't do enough research. Um, let me know down there below and maybe why you bet on them. Let's get the conversation going. Guys, as always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your finances later.